There's no losing, only learning. There's no failure, only opportunities. And there's no problems, only solutions. So to me, what failure is, failure is the mother of all success. If it wasn't for Michael Jordan getting cut from his ninth grade basketball team, he wouldn't have became Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. You know, if it wasn't for, uh, I seen an, an article the other day where they were talking about Oprah Winfrey and how she got fired because she wasn't good for television. You know, you got people like Walt Disney who got fired, if I'm not mistaken, from a newspaper saying he had no imagination. <laughs> so what do you tell them? You tell them, you know? You know that, that all they can do is learn and come back bigger, better, stronger. Because all it's going to do is lead you in the right direction. See, if you're always winning, then you don't really understand what it is to win. You, you got to take those losses. You got to take those hits. There's got to be the valleys, the peaks, the ups, the downs. In order for you to, when it does happen, you go, wow, con que rico. You know, this is what it's all about. And not only that, it's never about making it, guys. It's always about maintaining it. That's the toughest part. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it. Get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. I know from living that if you quit, whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you quit, Whatever you were trying to accomplish can never happen. There's not even a remote possibility. If you quit, there is no chance of it popping back up again, coming back later. Quitting is guaranteed failure. You have to make sure that your dreams, your aspirations and goals are so big that not accomplishing them is not an option. You have to want something so big that it wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you've long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things, you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. It requires an extra effort. If, now, if you don't want to do the extra effort, there's nothing wrong with being ready. A lot of people are happy being ready. I just wasn't. I ain't want to be regular. I ain't want no regular life. I didn't want no regular house. I didn't want no regular car. I didn't want no regular clothes. I didn't want no regular checking account. I just didn't want it. I wanted to have an exceptional home. I wanted to have an exceptional bank account. I wanted to travel exceptional places. Now, if you don't want that, it's perfectly fine. You can be really happy being ordinary. But if something's burning in you, you got to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, you're gonna be disappointed.